Seventh grade, unit two, lesson five. Two equations for each relationship. Number one, the table represents the relationship between a length measured in meters and the same length measured in kilometers. A, complete the table. Well, we know that 1,000 meters equals one kilometer. So a meter is a thousand times smaller than a kilometer. If 1,000 meters equals 1 kilometer, then 3,500 meters would equal 3 and 5 tenths kilometers. 500 is half of 1,000, so if 1,000 meters equals 1 kilometer, then 500 meters would equal a half a kilometer, or 5 tenths of a kilometer. I'm noticing a pattern. The decimal point is being moved to the left three places to make that value 1,000 times smaller. 75 meters equals 75 thousandths of a kilometer, and one meter equals one thousandths of a kilometer, and x meters equals one thousandths times x kilometers. B. Write an equation for converting the number of meters to kilometers. Use x for number of meters and y for number of kilometers. The equation would be y equals one thousandths times x. Number two, concrete building blocks weigh 28 pounds each. Using b for the number of concrete blocks and w for the weight, write two equations that relate the two variables. One equation should begin with w equals and the other should begin with b equals. I'm going to use the equation y equals kx to help me get started. The k, in this case, is 28 for 28 pounds. The y, in this case, is represented by the w for the total weight of all the blocks. And the x is represented by a b for the number of concrete blocks. So w equals 28b, or w equals 28 times b. Since there are two equations for each relationship, I'm going to use this equation to help me get started. x equals 1 divided by k times y, or x equals 1 over k times y. The x will be represented with the b blocks for the number of concrete blocks. I'll replace the y with the w to represent the total weight. And the k, or the constant, would be the 28, representing the 28 pounds each block weighs. So the second equation would be b equals 1 over 28 times w, or b equals 1 divided by 28 times w. Number 3. A store sells rope by the meter. The equation p equals 8 tenths l represents the price p in dollars, of a piece of nylon rope that is L meters long. A. How much does the nylon rope cost per meter? The key piece of information is the price equals 8 tenths times the length. When the length is 1 meter, then the price is 8 tenths times 1. And 8 tenths times 1 is 8 tenths. So the price for the rope is 80 cents per meter. B. How long is a piece of nylon rope that costs one dollar? What I learned when working on A was that P equals eight tenths times L. Since there's two equations for each relationship, I can also look at this as L equals one over eight tenths or L equals 1 divided by 8 tenths. And 1 divided by 8 tenths is 1 and 25 hundredths, or 1 and 1 fourth. So the length of a piece of nylon rope that costs $1 is 1 and 25 hundredths meters long, or 1 and 1 fourth meters long. Number 4. The table represents a proportional relationship. Find the constant of proportionality and write an equation to represent the relationship. 
When a equals 2 and y equals 2 thirds, then when a equals 1, y would equal 1 third. Because 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 2 thirds divided by 2 is 1 third. The constant of proportionality is 1 third. An equation to represent this relationship is y equals 1 third a, or y equals 1 third times a which is also equivalent to y equals a divided by 3. Number 5. On a map of Chicago, 1 centimeter represents 100 meters. Select all statements that express the same scale. b represents the same scale because 1 centimeter divided by 10 equals 1 millimeter and 100 meters divided by 10 equals 10 meters. C represents the same scale because 1 centimeter times 10 equals 10 centimeters and 100 meters times 10 equals 1 kilometer. A does not represent the same scale because 1 centimeter times 5 equals 5 centimeters but 100 meters times 5 does not equal 50 meters. And D does not represent the same scale because 1 centimeter times 100 equals 100 centimeters, but 100 meters times 100 does not equal 1 meter.